Hello, my name is Jewel and welcome to my channel. So it is finally December, which I'm so excited because Christmas is coming and I love Christmas. And I thought it would be really fun if I did a festive Fridays, which basically means that every Friday in December, I post a holiday video. So today I am going to, this is already coming out, so we're just gonna take that out. <laughs> Today, I am going to be doing a Christmassy drinks taste test. And I have some from local coffee shops and some from well-known coffee shops. The first place that I have is called Candle Freak. And this drink is called a peppermint patty. And I think it has chocolate in it and peppermint and coffee. So we're just gonna try it now. Mmm. There's not a lot of peppermint in it. So overall taste, I would say an eight, but I'm kind of disappointed that there isn't more of a peppermint flavor to it. But it has an, some chocolate in there, which I like. And then I would rate customer service at an eight. The next drinks I have are from Starbucks. They're in these tiny little cups, and, but they're really cute. So the first thing I got was a peppermint mocha, and then the other one is a chestnut praline latte, and they're both lattes. Oh wow, wow. The peppermint hits you really hard. Wow. I would call that a peppermint mocha. Yep, you can taste the chocolate, you can taste the peppermint. I'm gonna say, the taste is at a 10 because it is clearly what it is. Wow, that's really good. Hmm, it does have a nutty flavor to it, but it tastes a little watered down. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna say the taste is at a seven. So you can definitely taste like the nuttiness of the chestnuts and it's sweet, um, but not like amazing. So I ordered these online and I had my sister pick them up. So she says that the lady was, sounded nice. So <laughs> she sounded very cheerful. Okay, so I guess, what, what would you rate it? Since you- Smoothie soap, let's say a nine. A nine, okay. Customer service is at a nine. So the next place is called Rock Coffee House, another local place, and I went there and they had peppermint mocha. And I said, could I have another drink possibly? And he asked me to come up to the window and we chatted for a little bit. And they just finally figured out a, a gingerbread type of drink that they could make me as well. And this drink here, this one is a peppermint mocha. And then this one is a gingerbread drink. And this one has like chocolate beads on it, which is so cool. I love that. Um, and then when I was going to pay, they said that they would only charge me for one drink. I was like screaming on the inside because, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so they only charged me for one drink, which I was just like, oh my gosh. So, um,. On a scale of one to 10 for customer service, they're at like a 15, <laughs> way up there. They were so nice and so wonderful. And I, every time I go there, I am I just wanna come back. And yeah, and they also said that I should try a lavender latte. So next time I come, Rock Coffee House, I'm coming to get lavender latte. All right, so peppermint mocha, which I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put the chocolate in it, or not, but it's kind of melty. So I'm just gonna kind of throw these. Oh, you know what? I think. Is there a nut inside? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's their chocolate covered coffee beans. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> chocolate covered coffee beans are like a love language for me. 
Um, I think their customer service just went to a 16 now. I have a, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is like quality chocolate. You can get it out if I can find it, which I should be able to. La la la, we're going hunting, there it is. There's definitely chocolate in there, definitely peppermint, but it's not as pronounced as the Starbucks one. Like the Starbucks one is like a kick in your face, peppermint mocha. This one is more like a subtle kind of a mix into the chocolate, which is really, really good. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna say taste is at an eight. That one's really good too. Actually, I'm gonna make it a nine. Okay, I'm gonna try and stick this back on here. Woo! Okay, then gingerbread. Oh. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Oh, oh. I have to sit down for this one. Oh my gosh. The gingerbread is like, mwah, it's beautiful. Just amazing. Wow. We're doing really good with taste right now. I'm gonna say it's like, definitely like you can taste the gingerbread spice and it's, but it's still, once again, just like this one, a good mixture with the coffee taste as well. So it's not like you're eating a gingerbread. It's like, so your little gingerbread man decided to like, Take a swim in your coffee cup. Mmm. I'm gonna give a 10 for the taste for that one. Yeah, that was amazing. Last but not least, we have Dunkin' Donuts. Whoo, I got her. It's stuck to my leg. So this one is another peppermint mocha. Can you see a theme? There's definitely peppermint. It's like a very much peppermint, some mocha. It's kind of more like a bitter mocha than like a semi-sweet. It's more of like a dark chocolate kind of mocha. But there's something off about it. I'm not sure what it is. Let me just kind of swirl it around a minute. That's a little better, but there's still, I don't know. I think I'm gonna give it a seven. It's just, it's not as, there's something strange about it. I don't know. Then this one is, this was their iced gingerbread latte, I think. Which it has cinnamon sugar on the top, or it used to at some point. There's a slight gingerbread taste to it. But it's not crazy gingerbread. It's pretty good, and I feel like I can taste more almond milk than coffee, which all of these I had made with almond milk. It kind of leaves me wanting a little bit more. It's not a gingerbread as prominent as I would like it to be. Um, so I'm gonna give the taste a six and a half. And then what would you say for customer service? The lady didn't sound as cheerful. <laughs> not as cheerful, okay. Probably a seven. Okay, customer services at a seven for Duncan. Alrighty, so now that I've rated all of them individually, I'm going to now rate them from best drink to not as best drink. <laughs> Before I get into everything, I'm gonna say for peppermint mochas. So Starbucks is first because it's so peppermint mocha. Rock Coffee House is second, and Duncan is third for the peppermint mochas. Though, it kind of would depend on what you would prefer. If you would want a lot of peppermint mocha, Starbucks is the way to go. But if you want more of like coffee and your peppermint mocha, like all together, this is the way to go. I think this is my final. Okay, so at the bottom, 
We have Candle Freak just because it's mostly just tasting like coffee and not so much Christmassy, which I really want like a Christmassy kind of taste to it. Second, we have the Iced Gingerbread Latte from Dunkin'. Next, we have a Chestnut Praline Latte from Starbucks. Then we have the Peppermint Mocha from Dunkin'. Next, we have the Peppermint Mocha from Rock Coffee House. And after that, a Peppermint Mocha from Starbucks. And finally, with the big winner, is the Gingerbread Drink from Rock Coffee House. So that is my ranking. Feel free to disagree. I'm okay with that. This is just my personal opinion. So if you guys are looking for Christmassy drinks, definitely check out Starbucks. And if you live near me, Rock Coffee House for sure. And feel free to try other Christmassy drinks. Chestnut praline one and like a gingerbread one. There's like so many, just such a huge spectrum. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like this sunshine that is slowly coming in. And I hope you guys will come back next week for another festive Friday. Also, comment down below, what's your favorite Christmassy drink? See you guys soon. Bye! Hey! You ruined my workspace. You know what? I'm done. We win!